Uh, we've long suspected that we're not alone in the universe, but we've never seen evidence. People imagine UFOs all the time. In all of our movies, you know, the science fiction, E.T. and all that, you know, that we don't think we're alone. We maybe believe we're not alone, but we've never actually proven anything beyond the fact that we are alone. But Mars has an atmosphere. Mars has the biggest volcano in the solar system. We know that Mars has water frozen into the poles, but to actually see liquid water on the surface of Mars, that is tantalizingly close to, to uh, the building blocks of life. And uh, anywhere on Earth, there's water and heat. There's life. I mean, look under your sink or look, look down at the, at the rift in the middle of the Atlantic or anywhere. And um, we may not be able to find it with robots. You know, it, it's, it's hard enough finding a good fossil on Earth. Uh, Mars has about the same land area as Earth because we're mostly covered in water. So imagine trying to explore all of the land masses of Earth with a robot the size of a little golf cart. You know, it's pretty limited. So it, it's really intriguing. It, it, I think it, it inspires more questions than it answers. Uh, but it's one more black block in between what we know right now and what we fantasize in movies like, like The Martian, where we're sort of deciding as a species uh, what part of our lives this should be. How much should we spend on this versus everything else? To me, it's, it's a fascinating discovery, and it sort of moves us one step closer to seeing if we're alone or not. Bring, bring me to my uh, final question. You mentioned The Martian. I mean, it's interesting right now. It seems like Hollywood right now is very excited about space exploration. We've had the Martian, interstellar, and gravity. Yeah. Uh, and yet, then you look at the realities of the space program today. So how do you feel about the, the public's uh, enthusiasm and appetite for uh, I, The realities of the space program today are we've never been busier. Mm -hmm. We've had people permanently living off Earth for the last 15 years. That's, when, when we look back 200 years from now in our history books, we will say, oh, we left Earth in November 2000. That's when humanity left the planet. That's a big deal. The United States is currently building three different vehicles to take people to space. Boeing, SpaceX, and NASA are all working on spaceships. And China is looking at going to the moon. Japan has said they want to mine the moon. India is working on launching people to space. It is an extremely busy time in space exploration. People confuse the, the, the uh, noble completion of the shuttle program, which, which flew for a long time, with, with somehow being the end of something. But it's not at all. Uh, it's just a public misperception. We are incredibly busy. And I think uh, landing on a comet, going by Pluto, finding an ocean of water on one of the moons of Saturn, and now finding liquid water on the surface of Mars, I think they show just how active and successful we are in space exploration.